Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F16C Viper video, we'll talk about toss bombing using both CCRP and dive toss bombing modes. I've placed some links to earlier CCRP and dive toss videos. This will allow you to extend the range of unpowered bombs using a toss profile and potentially keep you out of harm's reach. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at toss bombing. Uh, first, we can see that we're in nav mode. So let's go to air to ground mode by hitting AG on the ICP. And now we can see that we're in CCIP bombing mode. But for this first example, we're gonna do it in CCRP. Probably the easiest way to uh, change it is by pressing once on the nose wheel steering missile step switch on the stick. So now we're in CCRP. Up on the HUD, we have this long vertical line, and that's her azimuth steering line, or ASL, which we'll be talking about here in a little bit. Uh, up here near the uh, heading tape, there's a uh, box with a dot in it, and that's our steer point marker for steer point one, which is also the location of our target, which is going to be an SA2 SAM site. That location is also going to be our sensor point of interest, also called a speed. On the right side of the HUD is what we call the loft release angle scale, which has a max distance of 10 miles. But down below, we can see our range to the target is actually 12 miles. But this little carrot here, uh, once we hit 10 miles and below, this carrot is gonna start moving down the scale. But right now, since we're uh, above 10 miles, it's pegged at the top. The top of this staple here is going to indicate the range at which we're going to pull up into the toss attack. Coming down to the uh, Smith's page where the stores management system, we can see that we're in CCRP mode already. Right now we're in a single release. Let's go to pairs. So this way, when we hit that pickle button, we're going to release both CBU-87s at the same time. In the data block in the center at the bottom, we have release angle 45, uh, 45 degrees, and that's the default toss angle. But let's say we want to change that to 30 degrees. So we'll hit control, range angle, or sorry, release angle, OSB, Three, zero, enter, control again, and now we have a release angle at 30 degrees. With that done, let's go ahead and unpause. And just like any uh, CCRP attack, we're going to make sure to uh, fly the flight path marker directly over that asthma steering line, or ASL. Now that we're uh, under 10 miles, we can see that carrot on the scale marching down. I'm going to pause here for a second. So right now we are 10 seconds out to pull up and we can see that indicated by one is the uh, solution queue which is this thicker horizontal line here and as we get closer this solution queue is going to start to drop down the ASL and once it intersects with the flight path marker uh, the circle with the wings and tail indication is going to be our indication to pull up into the toss. Also on the scale we can see that the carrot it's just about above the top of the staple, indicating that we're 10 seconds out. Okay, let's uh, unpause again. Okay, so let's pause here for a second. Uh, right now we're two seconds out from toss, and we can see this by the appearance of the max toss anticipation queue, which is the large solid reticle up on the HUD. We can also see that the carrot on the scale is right at the top of that staple now. Let's continue. Okay, let's pause again here. Several things happened when the solution queue and the flight path marker intersected, and they happened pretty quickly. Uh, first, the max toss anticipation queue, which was a solid reticle, started flashing, and that will flash for two seconds, indicating that it's time to pull up into the toss. We'll also see that the solution queue reset to the top of the ASL, and that will start marching down the ASL until time of bomb release. We'll also see that the horizontal bar will also move up to indicate the rate at which we need to try to fly the flight path marker onto that bar to fly the best toss possible. 
Now pulling up, we'll try to attain a, about a 4G best we can, keep the flight path marker on the ASL, and bomb release once the flight path marker intersected with the solution queue. As you might imagine, with so many variables, the accuracy of toss bombing is not going to be as accurate as a CCIP or even CCRP with a zero pitch change delivery. Now for this reason, you may want to use cluster bombs or at the very least, a large stick of uh, standard Mark 80 series bombs. Now I'll take a look at toss bombing and use dive toss bombing mode but without all the pauses. Okay, so as we did before, let's go to air to ground master mode. And now we're gonna select the dive toss bombing mode, DTOS. Let's go to pair. And let's set our release angle to 35 degrees this time. So up ahead, we can see a steer point one, which is the diamond in the HUD. Uh, steer point two is gonna be the general target location out there to the right. Okay, let's switch to a steer two and we'll start to climb up to about 6,000 feet or so. Okay, let's roll in. And now we're gonna do a standard uh, dive toss attack with the designator tied to the flight path marker. We'll fly it onto the general area of the target and we're happy with it, we can uh, slew it off to the target, press target management switch forward to stabilize. And as before, we're just going to uh, fly the flight path marker onto the ASL, the asthma steering line, and we'll have a uh, downward pitch of about eight degrees for the dive. Altitude. Altitude. Okay, 10 seconds, coming down. Anticipation cue, pull up to about 4G, keeping the flight path marker on the ASL, intersects with the solution cue and bombs away. And we'll roll off. And as mentioned before, uh, area weapons like uh, CBU 97s here, are really ideal weapons for uh, toss attacks. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this video and I think you'll find that uh, toss attacks are actually a lot of fun, but do take uh, a fair amount of skill to master. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.